So here we are. Welcome to What Drives You. Well, this segment's all about oh, you. Obviously, it's a McLaren at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> this is pretty good. And a CNBC anchor. <laughs> and a CNBC anchor, Karen. <laughs> I'm Karen Cho and this is my new ride for the week. I'm taking it for a spin along the Quasette for the Cannes Lions International Festival of Creativity and bringing along some of the biggest names in advertising, business and entertainment. Woo! As we ask, what drives you? Today I'm taking a trip down memory lane with advertising mogul Sir John Hegarty. Hegarty has made a name for himself by helping found three of the world's most iconic advertising agencies, Sachin Sachi, TBWA, and Bartle Bogle Hegarty, or BBH. Well, you know, it's interesting though, and I, uh, you know, people say to me, do you have a five year plan? And I say, no, I have a five minute plan. <laughs> Whether it was a five year or five minute plan, this journey takes us back more than 70 years. So let's reverse to the very beginning. John Hegarty was born in London in 1944. His father was Irish, something he says made him a bit of an outsider and an observer. Those skills led him towards art, but it was advertising that won him over. I wanted to be a painter, so I went to art school. From art school, I went to design school. And whilst I was at design school, I discovered there was this wonderful thing called advertising, because I loved ideas. And I was shown the work of Dordan Birnbach, back then that was doing great stuff and it just completely turned me on to the idea of advertising. It was the way Birnbach was using ideas, why he was doing stuff that was intelligent, smart, witty, but yet also inclusive. So, it so was you were a, inspired by the I was inspired stuff. totally by it and uh, at that moment uh, at design school I decided to create an advertising portfolio and got a job in advertising. And, uh, Which was it hard in the day or were the jobs well, available? Well, there was the actually, I have to say, it was a lot easier than it is now. Hegarty's first job in advertising came from Benton & Bowles, a big New York-based agency. But it wasn't his only choice. I was offered two jobs and one of them was at y and r and the other was at Benton & Bowles. And um, I said to a friend of mine, which one shall I take? And, and uh, I said, you know, the Benton & Bowles one is paying half what the y and r job is. And a friend of mine said, John, the thing is that Benson Bowles got this new brilliant New York art director coming over. That's going to be an opportunity. I'd go there. So I went to Benson and Bowles. So the first lesson I learned was don't chase the money, chase the opportunity. Hegarty's opportunity came in the form of getting to work with a young Charles Saatchi. After several successful collaborations, he eventually joined him as a founding shareholder of Saatchi & Saatchi. The creative director walks into my office. I didn't have an office, I had a space. <laughs> an office! <laughs> I'm like being generous station. in that. <laughs> and said to me, you know, I found a writer for you to work with. Uh, and I said, oh, what's his name? And he said, Charles Saatchi. And I went, oh, brilliant. That's a name everybody knows. That's a name everybody knows. So Charlie and I started working together. So that's the point. My first big, in a way, break was working with Charlie. We had a, a fantastic uh, team together and we did some great stuff. And was Charlie a creative genius right back then? He was, he was pretty damn good actually, I have to say. I think we made a great team, obviously. Um, but we both learned off each other. I was an art director, he was a writer. So, so, and then so you when- worked closely together from the very yeah. beginning. Yeah, and then when he went off to set his own agency up in 1970, he asked me to go and join him as a, a partner in that. After three years with Saatchi & Saatchi, Hegarty co-founded advertising agency TBWA in London, where he served as creative director. I loved working with Charlie, I thought he was fantastic, but in the end it was always going to be his gig. And quite rightly, he, he, you know, he founded it, why shouldn't it be? And so uh, I thought I want to make my own mark, I want to do things my way, because I have a slightly different point of view. Uh, what, what were the different differences, do you think? Charlie would take any opportunity. Uh, which is great, but you know sometimes he was taking opportunities that were compromising creativity and I wasn't happy with that. But you know that was his right, that was the business he wanted to run. After nearly a decade with TBWA, Hegarty was ready for something new. Founding ad agency Bartle Bogle Hegarty with colleagues John Bartle and Nigel Bogle. We kind of felt we could do it differently, we could do it better there was an opportunity, we thought, to create a really wonderful agency 
that was based on not just creativity but brilliant strategy. So, so we said, did you have almost like a startup mentality when you began the business? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I, w I was doing so many startups. I mean, uh, uh, you know, working with Charlie was a startup. Uh, working at TBWA was a startup. BBH was a startup. And uh, so we had a lot of experience in how you get an agency or a business going. Hegarty decided to put all of that startup knowledge to good use by launching his own incubator, the Garage Soho, in 2014. I was beginning to sort of have to exit from BBH, hand on to the next generation. I'm still part of them, but you know, you're not actively working on a business. And I'd started with an old friend of mine investing in companies, and we suddenly thought, hey, why don't we do this for real? We're both. You know, we both have an opportunity to set up a, an early stage investment company, let's do it. So in 2014, we set up the garage in Soho, garage because that's where great ideas start. Right. And uh, we've now got something like 28 companies going. And the wonderful thing about advertising, this is what I always say to people, is that, you know, it's a great industry for teaching you how to do so many other things. You know, so people haven't had, you know, the experience I've had in sitting in business meetings for 30, 40, 50 years, listening to people talk about business problems, what will they do to solve them, and although I was the creative guy in the meeting room, I was hearing all these conversations, and so you're picking up amazing tips. It's like a sort of, um, you know, you've been to Harvard Business School times 20, uh, and it was just brilliant, absolutely brilliant.